Hello oh, folks, this is Certain Instructor Ron. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about safety during a hurricane. So, one of the things that we see happen quite often with hurricanes is flooding, a real problem. Not to mention tornadoes and other things that spin up and whatever else happens. Electrical lines being down. There's a lot of safety issues out there that you need to be aware of. We can't cover them all in this video, but just use a lot of your common sense. So, uh, sometimes what happens, for example, uh, the flood waters start to come up. People think that they're going to be safe. They find out they're not. So they climb up into their attic. Now this has actually happened. So the people become trapped in their attic when the water even rises a lot higher than they suspected. Um, so they're now they're trapped up in their attic. They don't want to climb down. So if you're going to resort to climbing into your attic, I would suggest that you put a hammer, uh, saw, some other tools that you could break your way out of your roof if you had to. Worst case scenario. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it did happen and does happen. Now, how do I know this? Well, we learned about it when I took this course on wide area search. It's one of the things that we covered. And there were some incidences where it happened, and so people were trapped. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. There's other things that you need to look at, too. Look at your footwear. Uh, make sure you got good shoes on. Uh, one of the issues that the rescuers had was stepping on debris all the time and cutting their feet. Um, they were using heavy boots, but it was very hard to, to negotiate. Some of the places they went with heavy boots, so then they started using water socks, and well, they ended up going back to boots. So there is no perfect plan, but just make sure that you're prepared. So with that said, I'm just going to cover some of the issues that you might find. Um, the water you're going to have to assume is definitely polluted, so you don't want to get it in your mouth or your eyes if you can help it. Um, if you do, you want to make sure you can rinse it out, do whatever you can. Make sure you got that clean water. Make sure everything is in some sort of a watertight bag. So if you have to go somewhere that you can carry it with you, if you have to go through the water so it doesn't contaminate. Uh, the other things that you're going to want to do is make sure, again, that somebody knows exactly where you are. So these are some of the things that you can see during a hurricane um, or flooding that, that's attributed with them. Another thing you want to do is maybe make sure that you've got some um, safety devices like life preservers or whatever. If you have any of those around, make sure that those are handy or something that will hold air that you could actually use as a life preserver. There's a lot of things out there if you look around that you might have around your house. So that's some of the extras I want to give you. Make sure whatever you do, you already know where these centers are that you can evacuate to. Um, Again, the responders are going to be overwhelmed, so it's going to be up to you to take care of yourself, maybe in a lot of regards. So until that help comes, this is what CERT's about. We teach people how to survive these type of things until other responders can show up with technical rescue and different things. So don't get yourself in a bind. Think about what you're going to do. And if you find yourself in some bad place, make sure you have a way out. And that's what I want to share with you. So uh, I'm going to wish everybody the best. Use your head. Common sense prevails, generally speaking, and don't make decisions based solely on fear. Okay, again, everybody be safe, and thank you.